So there's, I'm at 37 seconds to start? Okay. Um, so there's a couple of things. One, as a professor who teaches ethnic studies, it's really important that we not dehumanize people. And your officer who just started talking about communities treated people as if they were animals in a jungle. When you talk about their alpha males, that's language for animals, not language for people. So your officers clearly need training with regard to what constitutes humanity. You cannot refer to people as their alpha males. We are people. We are people. <laughs> Right? I also want to um, say that one thing that I do agree with that came out is that a lot of this work should not be police work. When you're talking about mental health, when you're talking about um, services that are needed, when you're talking about after school programs, when you talk about all of these things, this is not the work of LAPD. So if you really want to do a good job, then give those dollars back to the city. Shane Goldsmith, you have a good relationship, very close relationship with the mayor. Tell him to stop giving 54% of the city's general fund to LAPD and give those dollars to mental health workers. Tell him to give them to after school providers. Police are not coaches, they are not social workers, they are not mental health workers. Finally, when we talk about criminalization, there's a big piece of this report that's missing. LAPD is responsible for anywhere to six, from six to eight percent of the homicides in this city. I want that report. I want that report. Waikisha Wilson's mother and auntie want that report. Eric Rivera's family want that report, right? And when we talk about criminalization, let's criminalize the officers who are killing our people and let's criminalize the city that is allowing the houseless community to grow, like you said, by leaps and bounds. Society is the criminals, not the people who are victimized by poverty.